the I.L. in that last homestand. Game two underway. Josh Winder delivers and Altuve with a swing and a miss. Two and two the count to Jose Altuve. And he sends one into center field coming on quickly and getting there to make the play. For out number one is Nick Gordon. He pitched the last inning in game one of the for over 100 RBIs this year. That ball's a rocket into center field. Jeremy Pena. This kid can play the game. Another base hit. His career high hitting streak is now up to nine. On the ground, right to the first baseman, Luis Arise. He will step on the bag himself and retire the Astros in the first inning. One hit, one man left on base. Was round out your Twins lineup. They have scored a total of three runs in the series, all three coming in game one of this doubleheader after being shut out by Justin Verlander and Blake Taylor. There's that 28 strikeout of the year tied for the team lead as he goes down on strikes. 28 strikeouts and 75 at bats and Garcia has a strikeout to start the game. Jason was here for three seasons, 2017, 18, and 19. Wow. it's a good pitch. Dan Merzell is the home plate umpire. Swing and a miss. Luis Garcia picks up two strikeouts in the inning and gets his second out. And Jorge Polanco equally as well. In fact, his number is slightly better against lefties that have done damage against him in the past. There's a walk to Max Kepler. But two strikeouts and two walks in this. Chopper towards the middle. Altuve will try and make the play to first. And Goodrum on one hop. Gets the play done at first base, catching it on the short hop by Jose Altuve. I had time for a yogurt and a banana that I haven't even eaten in between games of the doubleheader, so you're going to go full bucket of donuts. How about Kyle Tucker? He ropes one down the right field line. Not sure what he snacked on in between games, but he picks up where he left off last game. He had a home run and a double in one inning last game, and now he has a double to start this one. And McCormick shoots one up the middle. That'll be a base hit into center field. Tucker around third. He's going to score. Chaz McCormick, an RBI single, gets the Astros on the board first in game two. 17 at bats with the Twins in 2017. Rolls a soft ground ball to second. Polanco to short for one, and Goodrum will beat the return throw. Unable to get a double play. Ended his season in May. There goes Goodrum. Pitches outside to throw by Jeffers is not in time. Nico Goodrum picks up his first steal as an Astro. That one a little bit high as Castro draws a walk. So this ball hit high in the air into right center field. Playable for the center fielder Nick Gordon. Tagging at second is Goodrum. He'll get over to third. Siri flies out for out number two, approaching 40 pitches already in the second inning. As Altuve drills one into right center field, this ball's got some carry. Gordon on the run. He makes a great diving catch on the warning track. Nick Gordon laid out and made a great catch on the track to save two runs as both Goodrum and Castro would have scored. Called third strike, inside edge. Tough pitch to take with two strikes, and Kirilov goes down on the cutter for strikeout number three. Showed 88 on a fastball to Martin Maldonado, and grounds a single to left field. Pitching, defense, and hitting. He's done it all. Line drive over the head of Alex Bregman into left field. Back-to-back two-out hits for the Twins. Nick Gordon and Royce Lewis, the eight and nine hitters with base hits. Gordon moves to second with two away. And a little tapper towards short. Pena's going to have to hurry. The quick throw to get Buxton in time. Nice play, Jeremy Pena, to end the inning. Seven, 12 times. Eight, eight times. And he ropes one into left field. This one on a line all the way to the wall. Jeremy Pena has hit two seeds against Josh Winder. He is two for two with a single and a double. Yard on. Smokes oh, one to center man. field. All the way back goes Gordon near the wall. And he'll leap up. It's gone. Home run. Straight away center field. The big man, Jordan Alvarez, connects on home run number nine. And the Astros lead this game three to nothing. Just sounds so different coming off the bat of Jordan. 
professional hater of all baseballs. Deposits another one to dead center. That was a center cut fastball. How about 111.2 off the bat? If he gets any kind of launch angle on those swings, it usually gets out. Got a little worried when Nick Gordon went back on it like too. he had a shot at it, but that ball. I thought that ball was annihilated. I thought that was going to end up on the batter's eye. On Tuesday night, added two more in the fifth for a 4 nothing lead, added one in the sixth for a 5 nothing lead. And now Tucker draws a walk on a 3-2 pitch down. Pretty over 60 pitches in this game. There goes Tucker. The pitch is a called strike. Tucker in with a head first slide, and he is safe. That is stolen base number eight for Tucker. Counts full on McCormick. And Chaz this time goes down on strikes. A strikeout for Josh Winder is his first strikeout of the game. 18 through 21. Called third strike. Winder, who had not had any strikeouts, picks up strikes out, strikeouts at back-to-back -back hitters to end the inning. But the Astros add two. Top half of this inning. And now Luis Garcia. Looking to keep that score right there as he picks up a call third strike at the knees on the inside edge. Close pitch goes the Astros way. That is strikeout number four. That ball's hit well deep to right field. Tucker all the way back near the wall. He looks up and it's off the wall. Polanco thought it was gone. He'll get to second base as Tucker tracked that to the wall and couldn't quite make the play on a double by Jorge Polanco. So I think it was around 107, 108 miles an hour. That went off the end of the bat. Bregman will make the play to first. On the play, Jorge Polanco moves over to third base as. Swing and a miss. He couldn't hold up on that cutter away. Luis Garcia picks up strikeout number five. And the twin strand a runner at third base. The four year old has either been an Astro or a twin his whole career. As he takes that pitch up for ball four. So second time Castro has drawn a walk. Two of the three walks allowed. There is a line drive base hit. Good double header for Jose Siri. He's now got three hits in the double header. Pushes Castro to second base and the Astros in business again. First and second double into the left field corner. Now a little cue shot down the first baseline. Thielbar with a tough play. He's going to flip it into right field. In comes Castro. Here comes Siri. He's going to be held up as Jeremy Pena will reach on a little cue shot up the line that Thielbark tried to backhand. 111.2 off the bat and sends this one into center field. Gordon will drift back near the warning track. He has room and he puts it away for the final out. But the Astros add a run. An error helped out, but it's 4 nothing as we head to the bottom half of the board. A little bit. So that certainly puts a little bit of a damper on what has been a brilliant afternoon here. Altuve will try and barehand this one and can't come up with it cleanly as Alex Kirilov will reach. Counts one and two on Jeffers and a swing and a miss. Luis Garcia gets a strikeout. And a strikeout number six for Luis and one away in the fourth. 2 2 pitch. Gordon goes down on strikes. Luis Garcia picks up another strikeout. He is racking them up for the second straight game. He's up to now seven in the game today. Swing and a miss. Garcia strikes out three in a row, getting Jeffers, Gordon, and Lewis swinging at a third strike. Eight strikeouts for Garcia, one away from his career mark. Big leagues with the Twins last year. Down and in, tough pitch to take for Goodrum, but he'll draw a walk on that 3-2 pitch. Seven other games scheduled. Swing and a miss, down goes Castro. That'll do it for the Astros in the fifth inning. We are halfway home with Houston leading Minnesota 4 to nothing. Cutter. Three-two is hit hard down the right field line. That'll head to the wall. Luis Arise has himself extra bases. Tucker's throw comes in late. Arise has a one out double. Swing and a miss. That's number nine for Luis. Back to back starts where he has matched his career high in strikeouts. And there's two away here in the fifth. But he also struck out at least once. And Kepler hits a pop up. Castro and Bregman look at each other. It's Castro who takes charge and puts it away for the final out of the inning. 
So Luis Garcia gets through five shutout innings, matches his career high with nine strikeouts. The Astros lead 4 nothing. Second base on a th overthrow at first base. Pena tweaked something and had to leave the game. 3-1 pitch just missed inside. Jose Siri has drawn a walk to start this inning three times. This one grounded towards second. Palaco will flip it to short. And Royce Lewis can link to double play. Tuve grounds into a double play. He's enough where he can't play in place of Pena today, but hasn't swung the bat yet. Now he has, and he goes down on strikes for the final out. So the Astros down here in the sixth inning. Tyler Duffy out of the bullpen with a shutout six. Castro. And he goes after that one, and Seth Martinez picks up a strikeout. So Martinez strikes out Miranda to start the sixth inning. Swing and a miss. Got him with the breaking ball. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Seth Martinez here in inning number six. Swing and a foul tip caught by Castro. Seth Martinez has struck out the side. Getting Miranda, Kirilov, and Jeffers all with swinging third strikes. Impressive outing. Changed him to a starter. Made it to the big leagues as a starter, but that's now back in the bullpen. That's a broken bat, but it's going to find its way into right center field. Jordan makes a turn. He's going to head for second, and he will get there, sliding with a double. Second extra base hit of this game, Jordan Alvarez with a four-hit doubleheader. Has a double here with one out in the seventh. Just missed. Tough take. Duffy wanted the call. Doesn't get it. Tucker reaches base for a tenth time in the Swing and a miss. Goodrum goes down on strikes. A hit, a walk, two men left on base. Astros lead seventh inning stretch time here in Minneapolis. It is four to nothing and then robbed the Astros of two runs and picked up a base hit. And there's another base hit. Both of his hits have been the other way. Siri will cut this one off and Gordon thought about two, but he holds up with a single in the left center. And he sends this one into left center field. McCormick, a long run. He's going to play it in front of him, keeps it in front of him, and Arise is going to have to be held up at first base with a single. Two with this doubleheader. Now Jorge Polanco bats. Polanco sends one high in the air to center field. Jose Siri, looking into the sunshine here, puts it away for the final out of the inning. Two hits, two men left on base. Astros lead 4 0. Memorial Day comeback for the Astros. Castro goes down on strikes. Jason has one twice and now struck out twice. In games on the back ends of double headers. The first game was in the full nine innings as they only had to play six of the nine today. It's been a while since guys have played as many as 15 innings in the field in one day as Siri takes a called strike. Jose Altuve. Swing and a miss. Down goes Altuve. Cole Sands comes in out of the bullpen and strikes out the side, getting Castro, Siri, and Altuve in the eighth. Call third strike inside corner. Blake Taylor, a 1 2 3 inning. He picks up four outs, gives up a hit, and only throws 11 pitches today. Four hits in this doubleheader. As he sends one deep to left center field, all the way back is Gordon near the wall. Best ball's gone into the bullpens. Two home run game for Jordan Alvarez. Astros now lead five to nothing. The big man has 10 home runs on the year. He ain't done yet. You talked about earlier, either today, one of these games, you said something about him hitting the changeup very well. How about him staying on a changeup and driving it out to left center field? That's a guy who's seeing the ball well and getting the barrel to it nicely. Another multi-home run game in the career of Jordan Alvarez. That is the 10th multi-home run game for Jordan. There are only two players in the history of the game. Thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs up for the Wells from Julia. <laughs> That'll be a called third strike on the outside edge. Tucker flips the bat away. The Astros add to their lead. The DH, Jordan Alvarez, doing a lot of the aches today with two home runs. It's all, but they have been beaten up by the Astros here for this three-game set. That one is off of 
Lewis and tagged by Montero to end the game. Rafael Montero tags the runner Lewis on the way by to finish off the ball game. Final score, Astros five, Twins nothing. A combined four pitcher, seven hit shutout. And Blummer, that is a 10 game winning streak. Don't change a thing. Keep doing what you're doing. And we go back to 2017 and see that the Astros extend and add on to what we showed you earlier. Most 10 game win streaks in that amount of time. The Astros leading the way, doubling up on what the New York Yankees have done. Now they have six 10 game winning streaks since 2017. They are in first place in the American League West by a half game with that doubleheader sweep. And Dusty Baker also joins the top 10 all time in managerial wins. They'll cover it all in the Astros postgame show presented by Whataburger. Kevin Eschenfelder, Brian Bogusevic with Julia Morales gathering interviews coming up.